Hello Pisces, Sun, Rising, and Venus, and welcome to another reading. Let's see the overall energy for your reading for today. So we do have give your relationship a chance, work on your partnership, okay? And then we also have getting to know each other. So we can look at this in two different ways. This could represent two people coming back together, or this could definitely represent a fairly new connection, but we're going to see what it's more so leaning towards, because I'm looking at it in two different ways here. Um, let's focus on you first, Pisces, and then we'll jump over to your person. Just keep in mind the roles can be reversed. Also keep in mind time is fluid, so this could either currently be happening or maybe happening at a later date. Let's do this. Oh, so far so good, Pisces. Very nice. We have the sun, we have the two of wands, and then we have the star. You're definitely heading in the right direction here. Definitely heading in the right direction. The fact that you have the star out here, the star is all about following your true north. In other words, you're heading in the right direction. How does this person currently view this relationship? You know what? Before I open my mouth, I want to look at the two of wands that came out for you. Because I feel like you're heading in the right direction. I do. I feel like you're heading in the right direction. And I kind of feel like it just so happens that you're heading in a direction that's far, 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 far away from this one. Yeah. Also, too, this person could have like a lot of fixed uh, signs within their chart. So could be dealing with a Scorpio, possibly a Leo, maybe a Taurus or an Aquarius. Whoever this person is, they're very fixated on you. They're very, very fixated on you. Very fixated. Almost a little bit too fixated on you. Um, let's look at the two of wands. Tell me more about the two. Come on, man. Yeah. I knew it. Tell me more about the two of wands. I don't know why I just don't go with what I, you know, pick up on initially at first. You know, I always have to double check things. It's just the Virgo in me. But anyways, we have the Ten of Swords. We got the uh, Ten of Pentacles. And then we also have the Hermit. Like I said, you're heading in the right direction. And it kind of looks like the direction that you're heading in is far, 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 far away from this one to the right of me. So with the Ten of Pentacles coming out here attached to the Ten of Swords, this could be somebody that... Uh, you were once upon a time in a committed relationship with, but yeah, it kind of looks like it's done and over with. And with the hermit um, coming out here for you, it kind of looks like you took time to really accept this ending here between you and this person. And you're ready to move forward and move on with your life. Like I said, I feel like you're heading in the right direction. Okay, this one over here might come along and make you feel or think that you're making a mistake here, but I'm sorry. The fact that you have the star, the sun, the two of wands, and the wheel of fortune, yeah, I feel like you're heading in the right direction here. Let's see what this one wants. Uh, let's look at judgment. Judgment can definitely insinuate that um, this person is basically resurfacing back up here for you. So we have the Wheel of Fortune again, we have the Ace of Pentacles, and then we have the uh, Empress, and then we have the Ace of Wands. I'm not shocked that the Ace of Wands came out for this person because they have the Eight of Wands to the Seven of Wands, which creates an Ace of Wands um, at play. I feel like you are basically what this person wants. But the thing is, is that I feel like the Divine is trying to push you further and further and further away from this person. Making this reconciliation here between you and this person extremely difficult and challenging um for them i just feel like this person's going through a whole lot i feel like they have a whole lot of drama in their life not only that but with the five of pentacles they could be struggling financially speaking and i also kind of feel like this person is making a lot of poor decisions i'm also kind of getting that too a lot of poor decisions a lot of drama um and I, like I said, I also kind of feel like this person could very well be struggling. I just feel like they're going through it. Like, can we just say that? I feel like they're definitely going through it. And I feel like it has a lot to do with the fact that this person has a tendency of making very poor decisions. Hence why they're in the rut that they currently find themselves in. So back to you, Pisces. As you're heading in this awesome direction, right, that the divine basically wants you on, I feel like this one over here might try to stop you in your tracks, okay? So just be aware of that. Just be aware of that. Also, too, one thing that I do want to throw out here, and it's just something that just slapped me in the face just now, they got two fives over here. And that speaks of basically change. So 
it's interesting because I kind of feel like the same spot you left them in, they're still there. I'm not entirely sure what that's about, but I don't feel like this person had really improved or changed. I don't. I feel like you have. I do. I feel like you have. Like, you've definitely put in the work here. Them, not so much. Not, not so much. Not so much. Let's keep going. They're, they're still basically the same old, same old person. You know what I mean? They haven't changed. They're still doing the same shit. You know what I mean? Um, how does Pisces... Okay, let's do this Pisces. We have Justice. We have the Ace of Cups. And then we got the Seven of Wands. Why is the Seven of Wands out here? Tell me more about the Seven of Wands. Oh, okay. Okay. Let, let, let's talk about this, okay? I kind of feel like love is basically knocking on your door. And it kind of looks like you don't want anything to do with it. It's almost in a sense where you're looking at this new beginning that you could potentially have with someone. And you're just like, yeah, I, didn't, I don't want this. I didn't ask for all of this. Yeah, you can send it right back to where it came from. I kind of feel like you did, though. With ma the magician coming out here, I feel like you manifest this brand new beginning in love into fruition here. But it's like the moment love comes knocking at your door, you're kind of looking at it like, um, who the hell are you? And uh, what the hell do you want? Um, no, get away from me. I, I didn't ask for all of this, okay? <laughs> like, that's your overall response towards it. Um, I, I, I don't know. I just, I, I kind of feel like this is like a really good opportunity that's being presented to you. And I feel like you're shutting it down because quote unquote, I didn't ask for this. <laughs> I didn't ask for this, but I feel like it did. You know what I mean? So I'm more about the Ace of Cups. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, listen. Listen, 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 Linda, listen. Uh, you have the temperance card to the page of cups to the strength card. I like it. I, I feel like this is, like I said, love knocking on your door. And you're just like, no, I don't want it. Get it away from me. Send it back to where it came from, right? Whoever this person is, man, I really do like them. Um, they come off to me as somebody who's very kind, somebody who's very generous, somebody who means well. Somebody who means well. It's crazy, Pisces, because even though you're going to definitely sense and feel like this person really does mean well and that they have your best interests at heart, you still don't want nothing to do with the human because of quote unquote, I didn't ask for all of this. But I feel like you did. I feel like you did. Now, I feel like what it is, is that you may not feel like this this new beginning that's being presented to you, you may not feel like it's the right time for all of that, but... I feel like you manifested this into fruition. So it may be coming during a time where you don't necessarily want anything to do with love from the looks of it. But yes, you did ask for all of this. But I just kind of feel like the timing is just not, you know, right according to you. How does this person currently feel? We got the Seven of Swords. We got the Three of... Jeez. Okay. We got, okay, we got the two of, okay, sorry, that threw me the hell off. We got the two of cups, we got the seven of swords, we got the three of swords, and then we got the devil to the four of swords. Mm. Wow. See, this is like one of those situations where this person knows that, you know, they, they kind of... They kind of ruin things here between you and them. I don't feel like anybody has to tell them that. I feel like they are consciously aware that they did kind of sell savage hodge things here between you and them. And it kind of looks like they're being forced to deal with it. And they don't like it. And they don't like it. So at least this person's honest with themselves. Because you know you got some people out there that's very quick to point the finger at the other person here. I don't feel like they're doing that. I feel like they're accepting the fact that they did kind of ruin things here between you and them. And I feel like they're being forced to face that and also accept that. Let's keep going. What actions will Pisces take towards this person? We're moving forward. Ooh, honey, you got a king of cups here with the high priestess to the nine. Let's look at the king of cups because I feel like the king of cups is like this new person. Tell me more about the king of cups. Okay. 
Let's talk. Let, let, let's look a little bit more into this King of Cups, if you will. Okay. So we have the Four of... Let me... You can't even see it. We have the Four of Pentacles. We also have the Seven of Swords for them. And then we have the Eight of Cups to the Nine of Swords to the Devil. And then we also have the Death card to the Nine of Pentacles. Okay. I like it. Now, when it comes down to this, this King of Cups, this is more so referring to this person's past. I don't feel like this person was the best. Okay? I don't. I don't feel like this person was the best at all. I feel like this person has made plenty of mistakes um, in the past. And I feel like there was a recent mistake that this person essentially made that really caused this person to essentially realize that they have to do better and that they have to change. Okay? Um, which is something that I really do like. So I do feel like there was like a situation where they could have they could have done something extremely distasteful to somebody. And I kind of feel like through that experience, they kind of realize that they need to grow the fuck up and they need to change and that they need to do better. Is is that what I'm kind of I think that's what it is. Hold on. Tell me more about the um this reminds me of somebody's reading. Was it Virgo? I think it was Virgo. I think it was Virgo. Yeah, I knew it. Page of Wands is like somebody who's on the receiving end of some sort of news slash communication. Like, as this person is trying to build a relationship with you, I do feel like this person is talking to you um, about their past and like what they did to, you know, ruin this relationship between them and whoever it is that they were essentially involved with. Let's say, for example, just to for an example, let's say that this person cheated on the last person that they were with. In your mind, you're thinking, fuck, they might just do the same thing to me. Do I really want to sign myself up for all of that? You listen, the fact that this one over here is being very open and transparent with you, the fact that this person has changed and they're essentially realizing that they have to essentially do better, I mean, it's a good thing. You know, it's definitely a good thing that they're being that honest with you and that transparent with you, you know, because let's just be real. Let's be honest. Let's be honest. Most people, if you were to ask them about their past, they're going to sit there and make their ex look god awful. And they're going to make themselves out to be a saint. You know that that's exactly how it is, man. You know that it's like that. I've never actually met a person and I would ask them about their past and they would say, yo, I fucked up. I did this. I did that. Never. Never in my life. It was always the other person that just put them through, you know, hell and back. You know what I mean? But then once you start to get to know the person, you kind of see like, ugh, okay, kind of see why that one left right you know um I don't know I, I honestly like the fact that they're being honest and transparent with you you may not want to hear what they have to say you may not like it because in your mind you're just like well shit if they cheated on their ex I mean what if they do that to me? You know what I mean? I mean, I get that. I get that. But with the death card to the nine of pentacles, we got to give this person their flowers, man. I feel like they've changed. And I'm not going to take that away from them. Um, what's the outcome here between Pisces and this king of cups? Mm. Yeah. I mean, I'm not shocked, but it is what it is. We got the five of pentacles. We have the temperance card. You're not trying to take your chances. You're not trying to take your chances. You're not. You're not trying to take your chances. No. I feel like you're judging them based off of their past. I do. I feel like you're judging them based off of their past. Because in the past, they cheated on Susan or Bob. They're more than likely going to do it to you. And because they're more than likely going to do it to you according to you, you're not going to sit here and take your chances. So I don't feel like that relationship is going to get anywhere. Um, okay, what actions will this person take? towards Pisces or moving forward. So we have the Six of Pentacles. We also have the Ten of Swords. And then we also have the um, Ace of Cups. Reality is sinking in for this one over here. And they don't like it. Did I say that already? I don't feel like they like it. Okay. Um, it's not a pleasant experience that this person's currently going through. Okay. Um, and I kind of feel like they are coming in to try to create balance here between you and them um, and get, and basically get things back on track all over again. I guess we'll see how that plays out. What's the outcome here between Pisces and this person to the right of me? Don't fall. Thank you. 
We have the Six of Wands, we have the Hangman, and then we have the Two of Swords. I don't... I don't see this relationship between you and this person to the right and me getting off the ground mainly because somebody made their mind up. And I do feel like that's you. Your mind's basically made up and it kind of looks like you don't have any sort of interest of revisiting this connection here between you and this person. So just to recap, it kind of looks like this new lover, like <laughs> they're going to try to build a relationship with you. I feel like they mean well. I, I'm going to be honest. I feel like they mean well. Granted, they weren't the best. Um, they definitely weren't the best in like a previous relationship, but that moment really did inspire this person to do better and change. But you're not trying to, you're not trying to, mm -mm. I don't know. I just don't see you doing it. I don't see you giving this person a chance. And it has a lot to do with the fact that you're judging this person based off of their past and whatever it is that they did in the past with somebody entirely else that's not you. And I feel like that's going to really turn you off. It's going to cause you to feel like, well, shit, if they did that to such and such, they're probably going to turn around and do that to me. I'm good. I'm going to keep it moving. Um, let's see what else could you possibly expect after this. Oh, yeah, just keep moving forward. <laughs> I was going to say, yeah, oh, yeah, just keep moving forward, Pisces. Just keep moving forward. Just keep swimming. Just keep swimming because I feel like the right one's going to come along. So, yeah, just keep swimming. Dude, just keep swimming. King of Cups, we appreciate the fact that you've changed and you're doing a lot better now. But I guess you're going to have to take that somewhere else where because it just kind of looks like Pisces is just not having it. But just keep swimming, dude. Just keep swimming because I feel like... You're a lot closer to meeting the person that's more aligned to you than you think. Okay? So that's what I have for you, Pisces. Hopefully the reading helped. Hopefully it resonated. Also, too, for those of you who want to follow me on Instagram, the link is in the description box down below. And I will see you guys in your next reading. Bye.